Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect, where we're going to solve a plague. I think I killed that one. Get here. Shoot that, that's good. Oh, I can shoot the explosives on his back. That's a good idea. At least for the pyro. Apologies if you hear Hendrix moaning. She doesn't want to go to bed. But it's time for her to go to bed. Let's just make sure. Why are no one of you using hand cannons? They're armored troops. Oh. That's good. Krogan! Enemy charging! Enemy down! Krogan dead. Focus that one. Focus this Krogan. Focus that. Dealt with. Can't do that right now. No now you see me. Disappear. Dealt with. I'm sorry, but that teleport is absolutely awesome. And I think that is every single one of the Vorture taken out. There might be one or two left. Oh, there's one there. Oh, I missed. Switching their guns to the right type has made a bigger difference in fighting, for sure. I need to get that really drilled into my brain. God, I love the color green. Right Everyone behind. with me. Right behind you. So this is where the Vulture came out, so there's nothing here. Let's just progress along this C-shaped room, because I presume this is the right way to go. There's some ammo here, which would be very beneficial, and an aid station there. Ah! That's worse. Hold on. I hit the explosives on that guy. Focus the Krogan. Well, that dealt with that guy. One way or another. Cool. Let's go and get the aid from over here. Sorry, the run and cover button being the same. It's a little confusing at times, but you get there in the end. Get 100 credits. Hmm. I'm very proud of how this sniper's coming along. Very cool. Let's run this way, just see if there's anything here I can interact with. There's a gambling terminal I can hack. That seems beneficial. Okay, so I'm looking for orange, green. That one? Yep. Then I'm looking for blue at the top. Two lines of blue code at the top. That one. And then green, three big lines of green code. Which is that one. That was tough. Boom, 3,000 credits. Not bad at all. Kind of worth it, really. I'd love to see this place when the lights aren't red 24-7. I think that would be quite entertaining. But for now, we're doing okay. Me and my 10 sniper bullets. Oh. All right, let's push up here. I'm sure there's going to be someone near the top. Maybe not on the left, maybe on the right. No, I must have got them with the explosive. There's a bank terminal I'm definitely going to hack because I need money. All the money. So green, green, purple. Okay. Green, green, purple. Green, green, purple. That. Then big green, big green, orange, blue. Then orange, green, purple, blue. Yep, that's it. Nice. Solid. Let's pop a little save. 
because I've done a lot in the meantime. And let's push onwards into... There was something I could interact with then. There's a couple of doors. Hmm. The objective's that way, so let's go in this one. Oh! I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. That's his friend. The vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. I should loosen your... Look out! Boom. One more step and we kill your friend. Nobody needs to die. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. That doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. Okay. A little bit of logic saved us. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? You can go. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. We're a paladin! Well, by all intents and purposes, my ego knows no bounds. Go home. Professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you. Well, everything. I gotta say, right now, this shade of red is getting a little obnoxious to me. But hey, it is what it is. It's the theme of the game. It doesn't stop the gameplay being awesome. It's just, I kind of hate when they deeply color areas because it's just very... Hewed out, so to speak. Take that one. Take that one. I think we're good. Open the door for the others. Let's get some ammo, because I need some. I just vaulted into your face, Miranda. I'm sorry. We can dream. La da da. Aha! There seems to be an explosion over there. Dealt with. Dealt with. Let's wait for a second. Do I see anyone? Hmm, I don't know. Go there. Going to cover. Go, go, go. Okay, you don't see anyone, which is good. We've got two ways to go here. Let me check my objective. My objective says it's down. Okay, so we're going to go up along here. And up! You prick. I killed them all. Nice work, me. There might be some people down here. Whoa. Where are we being shot from? There? There's a boom squad dude. Well, he's heads on the floor. Quite a few there. Focus on the barrel. Take the head. Take the head. Wow, I am rinsing. Nice work. That got her down there and helped me take care of that guy. That's my last one. I need more ammo. I think there was some on this table back here. Maybe I can still pick it up. Yeah. Good work, me. Dealt with. We good? There's one there. Going down. Teleport down there. Break his face. Nice work. Okay. Quite a lot going on here. And a lot of staircases down. I don't know which one's the right way, but I'm just going to go down and we're going to wander around. That's that way. That's this way. Grab as much ammo as I can because that's important. 
put my gun away for now, because I'm pretty sure we've cleared out here pretty well. Always gets aware at the explosive containers. It thinks the explosive containers are enemies, so it's like getting my weapon out whenever I look at them. That's fair. I'm, do you know what I might do, actually, just to save me something? If I go into gameplay, don't touch the difficulty, but that's not the one I wanted. Uh, calibration? Nope. Do we not have anything to turn off head bob here? No. I was really hoping we could, because that is motion inducing. But, it's okay. This is the other staircase. Okay, we've cleared this whole room. Nothing here other than a couple of dead people. A couple of hundred dead people, actually. And the exit. Let's move on. We're doing pretty well. Sure thing. Understood. Clear. Ah! Knew it. Fire shot there. Krogan. Focus on that. Watch out. Did you not punch him? Am I invisible or something? You're supposed to be. You coward. Dealt with. Whew. Okay. We're getting there slowly. What about this big way off to the right? Is there anything here? There's some spare parts we can salvage. It's pretty useful. A med kit, which will help us out because we've actually not used any. I think I'm actually doing really well considering the case. Let's pop a save. And see how we can progress onwards just a bit. The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. As long as the entire goddamn map doesn't stay red, I'll be happy. Oh, you don't come here. We shut down machines. Break fans. Oh my Everyone god. Choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Ah, so you are behind the collectors doing this. Okay, the collectors are behind these lot. Okay, your proxies. What do the collectors want? Collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Oh my god, it makes sense. Heavy weapons. Just very quickly, just because I'm going to pause for half a second whilst I tell you the reason why. The collectors are killing everyone but humans and the Vorcha. Vorcha don't have plague. Not to create a problem, but because they want to harvest the humans. Killing everyone but humans on the station will let them harvest easier. Okay, quite a lot going on here. Dealt with. Dealt with. Dealt with. So there's an alcove at the back of the center wall. Right. Killed a lot of them. This sniper's actually being really beneficial. You know, it started out being pretty weak against, like, robots and stuff and everything else. But actually, I think if I get one that's actually good at a bit of everything, it's going to help a lot. Let's uh, power, start up and insert the cure. We need to reactivate the fans. We've got enemies behind us. Crap. Oh, thanks, ED. So what you will. ED's pretty fun. She has good info. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Maybe I can get some off these corpses. That's definitely some. 
And that's definitely some as well. That's going to cover me for the next attack at least. Gotcha. Setting off those explosives. Beneficial. Yeah, now that I know I can shoot those gas tanks, it's become incredibly valuable to have a sniper on hand for that as well. Let's get the West Fan Array on. Well, we've got Vorcher to deal with, but we'll get there. Because the Vorcher aren't that strong against my sniper. A couple of them are, but realistically it's the Krogan that's better. The Krogans are a nightmare. But it's odd, because Krogan would also get ill, I believe, from this virus, maybe? Okay, we've killed all the ones here. Let's push the other way. Oh, it is looking slightly more blue here, which is really nice. Oh, God. Ow. Am I dodging this? That's a Krogan. That's a Krogan. That's a Krogan. Bat the Krogan. Come on, Krogan. Dealt with. I think we're good. Ish. Okay, I'm, I'm severely out on ammo. Incoming. Okay, it's not going well. Get out uh, this gun. It's just going to be easier to take care of a Krogan like this. Why is it so it's all there? There is. They're firing. Oh well that's sucky. Oh god, I don't even have the accuracy. Keep the magnum out for a bit. Let's push down to the fan control array. Maybe activating it will just kill that last enemy because I cannot get to him and I've got no ammo on the floor. This will be good. Nice! Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Borcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. They would have. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I'm not like that. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Yeah. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. Will you join me? We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Beat you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna leave. We're heading now. See you on the Normandy. That went pretty well, if I say so myself. Mission complete. We uh, leveled up. We gained some squad points. 
Recruited Dr. Mordin Solus for the team. Examination of the Omega Plague Cure confirms Dr. Solus' expertise. Can also work on Omega as leverage against Aria if necessary. We've got a Carnifex hand cannon, assault rifle damage, medigel capacity credits, and a ton of element zero. Not to mention palladium, platinum, and iridium. Looking good. Oh. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human centric. You know the elusive man? You're very well informed. Salarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now, still hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. It hasn't changed. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, hmm. maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus, no. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Yes. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. I absolutely love Mordin. So Salarians have a shortened lifespan, so they tend to talk a little quicker because their brains go a little quicker. They're awesome, though. I've got Inferno Armor Research, Cerberus Assault Armor Research. Hello! Assault Rifle Damage. All these research is unlocked. Eviscerator Shotguns. This would be Mordin's lab. Let's investigate the research terminal. And, uh, yeah. Research maybe some... Uh, <clears throat> there's prototypes here, like a collector assault rifle. Hmm. Interesting. Cerberus assault armor, which is shields and health and ammo capacity. Not really what I want. Uh, new armor that's the collector chitin armor. Or chitin, as it's actually pronounced. Gives me regen storming speed. That's pretty good, actually. Inferno armor, negotiation bonus. Now, that might be even better for me. I don't use a lot of these things, but negotiation bonus could be exceptional. Let's research that. Nice. I also want to look at the chitin armor because that regen is going to be useful. Uh, I want to look at weapon upgrades. Anything for a sniper? Platinum required. Current platinum. I have enough. Why can't I do that? Oh, I have to do that one first. One more sniper rifle damage upgrade. Okay. So I don't need to do it. Okay. Let's look at the upgrades I can actually do. Chitin armor. Done. Inferno armor. Done. Sniper rifle. One out of five. Done. Interesting. So I've got some new armor. That's nice. Let's have a look at everything going on in Morden's lab. Bless him. It's got a ladder that leads down and a whole thing. Seems pretty chill. Let's talk to Morden. See how he settles in. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. you got a minute to talk. Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Anywhere from your assistant? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Uh, tell me about special tasks. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, 
high risk, served under young captain named Kirahi. Study Kirahi! Water tissue samples from Crokin colonies. I met Kirahi! Loved him! with an SDG captain named Kirahi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. <laughs> Loved his speeches. Hold the line. <laughs> get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. I absolutely love you, Morden. Why would STG study the Genovage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If Genophage weakens, need to be prepared. Prepared how? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Yeah, interesting. Well, goodbye. Nice talking with you, Morden. It should it's get interesting to know. To study so much data here if you need me. Okay, so we've got a research terminal, and I could get more upgrades going on. Maybe the Cerberus armor. It's all my palladium, though. That's some iridium for a weapon that I can't use, but maybe other people could. And the shotgun's pretty good as well. Tell you what, we'll take the shotgun. And we're also going to take uh, the assault rifle just in case other people can use it. Because I don't know who could use these things, but now people can if they need to. Let's go into the armory. And let's have a look at the weapons that we've got. So for me, anything I can chop. Oh, sniper refill. The incisor, which is the three-shot burst, and that's the single shot, which is what I'm on right now. Hmm. Overloads shields more. That overloads other more. We'll keep the armor out now because I'm going back to that area. Although I'll be going against people with shields, I think, so we'll be fine. Up protected wood, hand cannon, good. Jacob, let's pick you stuff. You've got an option of an eviscerator, which is. Seems to be better. It's better at armor piercing. Yeah, so we'll get you. The armor piercing one. And everyone wants the carn effects there. Miranda, carn effects. Uh, if I just change it for one of you, does it change for all of you? It changes for all of you. Okay. Yeah, so you've got a collector assault rifle there, which is strip shields with efficiency. And this one doesn't, so the collector's pretty good there. And your sniper rifle, go for a mantis if you're rolling the collector one. But then does that mean I'm using a mantis? No, I'm using the incisor. Okay, and Katsumi, you've got carn effects and cannon. Cool. Everyone has got a new set of gear, which is very nice. Could have a little chat with everyone in the crew, but I don't think it's really time for that yet. I want to recruit more of them if I can. Uh, so what I am going to do is just going to check out the armor area and see if I can mix and match the bits of the armor that would be most beneficial together. What's this area of the ship? It's the elevator. <sighs> Come on, into your cabin. Private terminal, any messages? Hearing your facial scars. Commander... Oh, it's Chakras. Uh, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring. The old adage, mind over matter, holds true. Negative ashes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the lab. Oh, thank you. So I can make myself look sexy. 
teams coming together all right. Yeah, so you're all tech-based. I'd probably take you, Morden. I'll take Morden and Zaid for a bit, maybe. Mix it up a bit. I always want to use different people. I end up quite biased when there's big amounts of people different. So, uh, yeah, let's customise my gear. Casual, there's nothing new. Armour, though? Ah, they're full sets. That's interesting. Gauntlets is health, and that's ammo capacity. I see. So I can... Oh, I can add little things to my armor, but they'll just do little things. So that gives me health over shield strength. I'd rather have health, to be honest. And so that means that's what I'd look like now. Or I can just swap the whole thing over to Infernal for better negotiation bonus and better storm speed. Tech and biotic power damage could be better, but I don't really have a lot of them. Mm. And I can't change the color of the armor. The collector armor is great for regening health. Let's keep my special armor on. I think that's the best way I'm going to have to do it. But I got life support webbing in there now. Even though a 10% bonus to negotiation works, I'm really up there with my Paragon, so I shouldn't have a trouble with it. Let's go to the CIC, and then we'll head back onto the Omega Relay and go and see about what's happening. Man, received a new message at your private terminal. I believe I already did that. Yeah, I already did that. We're good. But thank you, Kelly. You tried. Let's dock. Because even though we're on here, there's the Archangel still to pick up here. There's quite a few quests still around here, and it all involves going into that big club at the entrance that I refused to go in to start with. But there's also all that stuff on the right-hand side I also missed. I ended up in a quarantine zone. So, quite a bit to do. If I do say so myself. Ugh. Let's go more than Zaid. That sounds fun. Because as much as I love my stealth lady, I kind of think Morden's pretty funny. Uh, i got two points to spend here. Um, tactical cloak could go up to two. Mm, damage bonus of 20% over a damage bonus of nothing. Ah, that's what I want. And that's unlocked incinerate now, which is good. Morden, you got ten points. You have a incinerate and Salarian scientist, which... Can increase the strength of your shields or your weapon damage. Or how much you incinerate. Let's go down... Let's go heavy incinerate and then we'll go cryoblast here. And then when we get to cryoblast we want a deep cryoblast. That should make sense. That way he's good at CC. That's his whole build. Um... I think we want weapon damage with you, Zaid. You're all about that. Mercenary Warlord. Increase your weapon damage. Yep. Good to go. Zaid's got a Collector Assault Rifle, Mantis Sniper, I've got Incisor. Okay, we're good. How do my legs look? Chonky! That's good! Okay, still quite a bit to do. Um, heading right and checking out these little shops might be a worthwhile thing. So we'll do that before we carry on into the area. Because I uh, totally left immediately and that was my fault. Okay, no the Mad Prophet. Racist. There are some thugs. Harrod's Emporium. Ah, oh, hi, Harrod. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Do you have a cigar? Look, I have to think to yourself here. Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. Oh, my. Ride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. That cigar is amazing. 
courteously. Have a fine day. Okay, a visor increasing headshot damage. Yes, I want that immediately. That's great. Uh, model of ships I'm not too bothered about. We can come back for all that stuff. Reduces the delay before you regen shields. That's nice. I don't think I've actually got a thing. Doubles the time limit for hacking. That's amazing. Terminus armor. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. And a black storm. A gravitational singularity gun. Okay, black hole launcher. How am I doing? I've got 150k. I get the capacitor chest because I don't have any chest armor. <sighs> Spend 30 grand on the hack module because that's just going to help me in the long run. Save the... Uh, mm, mm, God damn it. Get that as well. Still off 100k. <laughs> I can stay above 100k if I get the black storm too. Go on. I can stay above 100k with the guest ship too. We clean out this store. I can't believe I just did that. <sighs> My. Right, so there's the Afterlife VIP up there, and then the central area's got a couple of stores, like the Omega Market here. Hi, Marsh. I might have something here for humans. Not much. Convince me to shop here. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. Hmm. I'll do what I can, but don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. All right. I think we got a discount. Run speed? Nah, I'd rather have health regen right now. Sniper rifle damage. I've got to go with that for sure. A titillating alien magazine. Well, we'll get that. That's only four. Capacitor helmet. That's shields. I'm not all about shields. Blood dragon armor. Oh, wow. If I really wanted to seem like um, a knight, I could wear that. I'm going to get the sniper rifle damage for now. And then we'll come back here to Omega when I've got other stuff. Which is good, because now I've increased my sniper rifle damage again. There's one more market around this corner. There's a bunch of people on the floor here. Is it under here? Maybe. Hi, Shisk. Who's Captain Gavon? I don't know a Captain Gavon. Why would I tell him anything? Hendrix. Okay. Uh, how many Vorcha live here? Uh, interesting. Um, I think the store's over here. This is where Salvage is. Hi, Ken. You're a quarian. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me out this forsaken rock. Maybe we can cut a deal. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. You can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. Why are you here? What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. Right. See how that yeah, out? okay. It's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. I could pay your way. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. He deserves to do his pilgrimage properly. And helping any quarrying we can is going to be useful. 
Ah, the couplings we needed. Brilliant. That's what we needed. That'll help the NGs. Heavy skin weave. I don't have enough for that. That's health. Something to do with the shotguns. That's a semi-auto rifle, which is pretty nice. And that's a, a Geth plasma shotgun. Which is quite good against shields and unarmoured. Hmm. I'm going to go with both of these as well. Getting as much as I can is going to be really important. Hmm. So that gets me into lower afterlife. I've done all these. That's a VIP area, so we'll ditch that. But let's try lower afterlife, because Arya's here. And that's who we need to talk to, so we'll see how that goes. Hendrix. Shut up. Vorja adaptation interesting. Not just biological. Social as well. Urban area adapting to them in return. Large concentration. Hope they're controlled. If they attack, as happened near my clinic, casualties likely. So what are Vorja? Like, pests? Interesting. Hold on, I actually need to know what Vorja are. Um, non-council races? Vorja? Uh, extinct alien races, Protheans, and the Rachni, they're not extinct anymore. Council races, Asari, Salarians, Turians. Are you non-Sapien? Doesn't say. What a Vorcha! Huh. No. Stinked races? No. Vorcha! Here we go. Although they resemble a mammal reptile cross, the Vorcha have no terrestrial analog. They are humanoid in form, but Vorcha have clusters of non differentiated neoblast cells, like those of Earth's planarian worms. Damaged Vorcha cells mature into specialized structures to alleviate injury or stress. Transformations include thicker skin following injury, lung adaptation for barely breathable atmospheres, and stronger cardioskeletal muscle hmm. under high gravity. Skull capacity and brain size do not change, and Vorcha rarely make more than one somatic overhaul. Vorcha assault each other frequently, causing their young to gain strength intelligence and resilience as a result Vorcha see inflicting and receiving pain as normal communication ah. few Vorcha study professions in part because their average life expectancy is only 20 years because Vorcha can eat and breathe nearly anything they can live almost anywhere but racism prevents them from integrating into most societies that dismiss them as vermin they have few employment options beyond Krogan mercenary bands. Right. So, they are super adaptive, but low intelligence, low lifespan. And it makes them like this. Okay. Well, let's see how afterlife goes. Oh my. This is a big club. Uh, I don't know what this is. There's a patriarch? No. You said he had close I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Your Patriarch? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor. As a trophy. Hmm, okay. Tell me some war stories, or tell me about Arya. A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She 
came for me here in this bar. You tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. Because it's what dishonorable. Made leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Alright, I don't want a war story, I but thank you. Going. We've now just learned what type of person Arya is. Tough to negotiate with. Let's not watch a dancer, because I'm not interested in that right now. Forven, hello. Give me a drink. I just get poisoned? What happened? What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Afterlife hates humans? Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. Hmm. I was poisoned? That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. That sucks. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Thank you, Hannah. Let's confront that bartender, because I'm a little pissed about that. I'm going in the front door now this time because I uh, I think I'm, I I deserve to go in the front door or the VIP entrance. Let's try the VIP entrance. See how that goes. What do you want? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club for those with the right name. Do you want something? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Hmm. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your Okay, worth a try. Okay, uh, let's go... Uh, we'll go in the main door now. We need to do it at some point. Let's go. Quite enjoy this game so far. It's it's been a bit different to Mass Effect One. Mass Effect One's got lots of little like standalone little stories, and this is very intense and really gone into the depth of the areas. But either way, let's enter Afterlife. I gotta get in. Let's skip the alcohol cube manga. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? Come on in. Are expecting you? If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. True, Kylan. Hi. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Alright. Think I may have just started a fight with that guy. Oh well. Each to their own. I've got to have a go at a bartender. Just one more. Bar talk to Zaid. I knew a bar out on the front that looked like this. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers fled, followed by pistols. We all got out except my buddy Narco. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. 
All right, thank you for that, Zoe. It's very cheerful. Let's see if it's poisoned or not. I think the music's bugged, but that's fine. It's a nice, chill, quiet place now. Bye. I didn't get poisoned this time. Ha ha. Hi, Anto. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. Right. Well, where was I? I was down here. Oh my God, Helena Blake! I remember you! Commander Shepard? Is that you? I, I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you to remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. Why are you here then? What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. I did tell you to straighten up. You're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. A uh, social worker on Omega? That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's quite noble, to be honest. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. Goodbye. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. That was good. Just being a social worker, I didn't even know. I'm trying to, uh, I think it was at this bar, actually, I might have got poisoned at. The lower afterlife bar. So let me go down to the lower afterlife. <laughs> Here we go. You. Do I know you? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Oh, poisoning yeah. Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Hey! Not taking any chances. Thank you, Ogryn. Very kind of you. Yes, we'll just leave this poison glass here. That's really Master awkward. Deserved what he, got. he did. Good work. Bit of dancing! No? It's clearly a mistake whenever Shepard dances. Um, I think we have cleared this side of the map. Now we just have to go and we will be ready to talk up to Arya. Let's hope it was the ship. Anyway, yes, we will go and talk to Arya in a minute. The fact Zaid's worked around here, I feel he might already have a background with um, Arya, which might help me out. And Morden's incredibly smart, which is always just a useful backup in a situation like this. I'm busy. I'm busy. It's a private room, okay. Um, Arya is up these stairs, I believe. Ah, that's where she is. Right. We will pop a save, and next time, we will talk to Arya, which will be tomorrow, because I have recorded all I can today. So, 
thank you very much for watching. Apologies that my webcam has just gone really blurry. Um, but yeah, things are coming out all right. I'm really enjoying this game. It's a little different to Mass Effect 1. It feels a bit more um, rushed in overall, but it's still a very fun game to play. And I will be doing absolutely everything in it. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Much love and goodbye.